There's been feedback about Protoss late game is, is super powerful. At the pro level, we're not seeing that. We're not seeing like, yep, it's GG if Protoss gets to 20 minutes or 18 minutes or whatever. There's still a voice saying that out there. So we, we go and look and we're using our a lot more sophisticated statistics now um, to run through this. So now we can look at, at different skill levels and say, oh wait, is there something different here at this level? And there's been no really easy indicator but so watching a lot of these different things hearing what the community is saying watching what the players are doing um, and then going you know what ball of death it's it happens right when you have 200 food armies going at each other there's a lot of stuff there clarity is something that we want to maintain and have and this doesn't help for that so it dictated and has dictated a lot of that that factor alone has helped to make a lot of decisions about well, with these units let's try not to add to that or even uh, in the case of the Widowmaker, let's make some decisions to even pull things out of there and make sure they're not even there, they're leading the way, they're not a part of this. You know, Oracle could be argued a Raider unit that it won't get added to that, and the decisions around the Mothership Core and those sorts of things, they, they help and really drive a lot of the decisions we end up making. So I wish I could give you a formula that we use, but a lot of it is observation, paying attention to the community, and really being involved. And I think for a lot of us, it's we, we are. We're, we're, we're excited to watch and what these players are doing is crazy and even the players that aren't at the pro level, um, they say a lot and we pay attention and then go, you know what, we do want to address this. The community is right on this or we're seeing this and feel like we want to shift that and make add a new unit or significantly tweak an existing unit to change that landscape. Some units just don't get the play in a particular pro match, but that's okay because the variety that's there is fun and, it, and there's still enough there to for both the the player and the viewer to, to enjoy that. And so, yeah, it's acceptable for there to be units that aren't as widely used. And the cool thing that, that we're still seeing and why I I think we're taking our time a little bit more with Heart of the Swarm is there's still stuff coming up, like week by week of new tactics that are coming along, even in Wings of Liberty. The Warp Prism is being used constantly by Protoss. We're seeing all these tactics. There is a particular Protoss player just watching him do these crazy Warp Prism drops and really doing almost raiding in a way that we haven't really seen a lot of until now. And so these things are still emerging all the time. So it's okay if they're not used because I feel like sometimes they just aren't discovered and then it's gonna happen. Hellion, Hellion, it became an extremely versatile and well-used unit, but probably a year after the release, maybe eight months after the release, nobody was really using them to that level. And then their use against Zerg came out and actually Box Slayer's Boxer, one of the most popular uh, gamers from old, was using it and then it kind of became a thing. It's really an interesting dynamic seeing how these things develop, I think. I, for me, I, it's like the community, sometimes it can be a region that comes up with something and, and a trendsetter, a pro gamer starts something and everybody goes, oh my god, I gotta explore that now. Even with, you know, 13 units you think you've got it all, it's not. I mean, it, how you use a building, where you place things, all these things just can change it at any time. So there's the trendsetter pro gamer, sometimes a region will start this thing and it won't be in the other regions and then we'll see something break out where this region's complaining that Protoss are the most powerful, this region's complaining that Zerg are the most powerful, this region doesn't know what's going on at all and then they'll cross the ocean and it's just this really, I think, interesting and, and even more complicated environment than ever, than Brood War, than Warcraft 3. So I, I love it, I think it's just fun. It's, it's this really complex thing, but watching it emerge is just like watching a kid grow up or something. <laughs>